welcome back to the Tax Advisor and Biz Coach Success Podcast. The purpose of these episodes is to help entrepreneurs become more successful, avoid tax and other business headaches. Remember to tune in frequently as we will be sharing tips, secrets, and expert recommendations in how you can manage your finances, improve wealth, and grow your business. Please like, share, and subscribe. Here's your host, Liz Soria. Hi, everyone, and welcome back. Um, if you have been following me, thank you so much. And if you're, this is the first time that you're actually watching uh, this video, please know that I've been doing a podcast for the last two years, and I've been a YouTube channel, goodness, I don't know, more than eight years, nine now. Um, so there's a lot of really phenomenal episodes that you might want to go back and watch. Uh, I can promise you it's pretty much worth every minute of your time. Um, some of them might be long, but you hopefully will pick up a few golden nuggets here and there. Um, anyhow, my name is Liz Surya. I'm a tax advisor, accountant, and uh, I specialize in very few niches, but one of them is actually e-commerce and retail. Um, and the reason I do that is because myself, I sell online uh, through my professional services. And today we're going to talk about something I think is really important, even for everyone out there who are also uh, in a professional field. Uh, and I noticed that some of them um, are not aware of this, but let's talk about sales tax uh, to professional services. Yeah. That's right. Um, a lot of professional services industries are being taxed. And if you're not aware of that and you're not collecting the tax, that could be a major issue, right? Um, um, at this point, I the next states that I'm going to mention right now, I'm not doing business with none of those specific states, but eventually I will as I grow. And I find that I want, I'm, I'm glad that I know this information uh, before the state finds me. I, I know better to start collecting tax when I, you know, um, send out my invoice um, for any type of service uh, in these states. So what are these states? Well, we have West Virginia, we have Connecticut, we do have uh, DC, we do have Texas, uh, we do have Alaska, and we do have South Dakota. And I'm just going to briefly check here to make sure, as far as I know, yes, I got them all right. And I, I think I said Hawaii, did I? Okay, if I didn't, there it is, Hawaii. So what's happening? Well, all these states are charging certain professions. Um, so again, this is not about, I don't sell product lists, I don't care, it doesn't apply to me, it does. It, it, so one of the things I tell anyone who's probably, you know, it could be a business coach, uh, you could be a, a, a landscaper, you can be a janitorial service, uh, you could be a, a computer tech, uh, a lot of things like this. I mean, they're being taxed by certain, certain states. Like, let me give you a good example. Um, in Florida state, uh, landscape uh, companies, they have to pay sales tax for the service they provide. Even if they don't actually, uh, you know, plant anything, meaning that they don't have a product uh, of putting flowers or a palm tree or whatever it is, that they're just going to cut, you know, the trees and so on. Well, that's taxable. Yeah. Uh, janitorial companies also. So if you have a company that is coming to clean your, 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 your clean offices or residential properties, you're supposed to be collecting tax on that. That's what the state of Florida mandates. Um, in other states, they don't, they're not taxed, these type of industries. They're not. So I always tell people that one of the best things you can do is two things. One, if you want to do it yourself, please, by all means, you know, obtain knowledge I always say because knowledge is so important right um, and go to the Department of Revenue for each state and look at the list they always have categories of what's supposed to be sales uh, you know what we're supposed to be taxed on and make sure you cover it, really um, because again what's happening is with all these strong cases that we've been getting uh, recently I mean the last couple months uh, you know, a company is going to shut down not only because they were selling products, but like I said, now they're going after you know, also professional industries. Uh, you know, states are extremely, extremely, really, really, really um, hungry. Uh, so uh, if we think internal revenue could be tough with us, watch out with the states because I think they could be a lot more aggressive. And so again, Look into these states. If you are doing business, look at your category, even if it was a professional service, and figure out, do I have an exposure there? Um, because 
remember, uh, you know, if they look at your invoice and you get audited and they see that you have not been collecting sales tax, it's your responsibility, unfortunately. And they, they don't want to hear anything else. They, whatever you want to justify or you don't know, I, I have no, you know, I wasn't aware. I, I you know, I ignored this kind of law. It, it, it's not going to justify. It, it's just going to come back to you and you're still going to be responsible. But not only for the liability, which is the worst part of all, it's the fact that all the penalties and interest and all that. Um, and I'm going to talk about the penalties and interest in, um, in another episode of video that I'm going to be recording. So you might want to listen to that because, uh, you know, people think, oh, I don't care if they charge me a dollar for penalty. Well, it's not a dollar, right? Um, everybody will be able to afford to pay a dollar. The problem is it's, it's hard. When they hit you, they hit you hard. Um, so again, so for all professional industries out there, please go to every state, um, you know, the website, and confirm whether the type of service that you're providing is not taxable because if you do have clients in those up states, you want to make sure you start collecting, you know. Um, and, and if you haven't, you know, volunteer yourself as a disclosure and say, hey, you know what, I, I, I just made this mistake and be sincere about it. I think honesty is a big plus. Uh, you know, send them an estimate of how much you have sold in that, you know, specific state. Send them a check, cut them a check, absolutely. And uh, see how they're gonna come back. Hopefully, uh, you know, you get a good agent and they're willing to negotiate with you and, and do something like that. But again, this is for my professional industry. Please be careful, for example, in Texas right now, they don't tax up CPAs doing accounting services, but if you're a bookkeeping firm, for an example, uh, they do tax. Okay, so uh, some are exempt, others are not. So this is what's happening. That's why it's so confusing. Anyhow, this is Liz starting out. If you are in one of those professions, you need help, uh, please reach out to me and my team. Like I said, this is one of the niches that I specialize in. And um, and like I said, if I cannot, you know, uh, you know, uh, give you, I can give you a prescription. But if you need someone to refill that prescription, I will sell you. I will sell you to the right company or person who's going to be able to fulfill that complete, you know, uh, prescription for you, because I want to make sure that you're successful and you stay in business. And um, like, again, I'm just seeing too many things going on out there with the states and it's staying abreast of everything, but it's a lot going on um, in, in the coming hard. They really are. So anyhow, wish you the best, a lot of success. And like I said, reach out to me and my team uh, through my website or through my social media accounts um, everywhere. Just look up my name, Liz Soria, and I'm here to serve you. Thank you so much. Um, and again, like, share, and subscribe. Um, and until next time, I'll see you in the next episode. Take care. And like I said, you can reach out to us whenever you need. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.